for about 50 bucks in an hour of time. Take and use your smartphone to control your garage door opener just like this. All right, let's take a look inside my Wi-Fi box and see what we got. Like this is the garage door controller. Not sure what this is going to be for. a USB power supply in that box and I guess there's our installation manual looks pretty easy all right let's pull this stuff all out of the bags and see if I can connect it to the app after I power it Here looking at the instructions, uh, this is just double sided tape and uh, it actually comes with a proxy sensor so it'll tell me if the uh, door is open or closed which is pretty awesome I think. So we're going to go ahead and power this puppy up and then we'll see if we can add it to our app. Tangled out of the box, otherwise known as a Swiss knot. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna add some power to this device. And I'll move the camera so you guys can see here what's going on. All right, we do have a Lay it on there, so that's good. And I'll plug in my little proxy sensor. Guess it shouldn't matter which way this thing goes, but we'll find out if it goes one way or another. Looks like that's the way. And there's my the other open close. And we'll bring up the smartphone app and see if we can add a device. Looks like that's the one. I don't think I need to do that. Oh, we'll skip it. There we go. And it is blinking on there. So we will connect to that device. Good. Back here.
There we go. Smart garage door opener works for me. Log into my Wi Fi. Kind of cool. He even tells you what to do. We're just gonna skip that. And hey, look at that. It shows that it's open. And hopefully you guys can still see that. And we'll see what this does. Oh, look at that. Shows up as closed. Open. How? I love it already. All right, I'm gonna go uh, actually do the physical part of the installation and we'll uh, guide you through that as well. All right, so here's my garage door opener. Classic Sears Craftsman half horse. And I took the took a look online to see kind of how to find out if I can wire this thing in. And the uh, method there said crossover one and two. connections one and two on uh, for the sensor wire. All right, so I found a location I think is gonna be the best is on the top of the door. If I fasten this piece up here and I kind of put that piece next to it, like so, I think that gives me a pretty close clearance. So that should do the trick, kind of like that. And it also lets me bring the wires up to the roof. And carry them back over with the remaining wires to the opener. All right, so I've got this one all secured. I got the wire up, but uh, I won't be able to see or get the uh, screw guide in there to get the screws in. So I did mark it with a Sharpie. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's marked with a Sharpie. The rest of the wire is stapled up and runs along the ceiling and is secured on this end here. So I have it ready for the box and the rest of the plugs and wiring. So there it is. All right, here's my mark on top of the door and Fortunately, this thing is magnetic, so I'm just gonna pop it up there and get a couple screws in. All right, got this wire connected. Take my plug in and get that in the ceiling. And that should be it. Get the old smartphone out. There's the garage drawer. my clothing. And if I look in the app, it knows we're closed. Now it's just a matter of uh, tidying this all up here and I've got a little bit of wire uh, above the garage door here we're going to take and uh, secure that up to fish her off. Alright, there's the uh, finished installation. It did include a zip tie and double sided tape. Unfortunately, I did not have room on the top uh, to get that done up there, but I think that looks just fine and that's cleaned up and out of the way. And what I ended up doing over here to secure that loose wire that comes up off that sensor is just uh, an electrical, whatever you call these things. So it's just loose in there, but uh, because it's secured on the ceiling with a staple, that's not going to get wrapped up in the uh, the spring. Now I wish I would have found this thing a whole lot sooner and got this thing installed. I could not believe actually how easy it was to put this thing in. 
two wires, a USB plug, and uh, I guess the toughest part was putting the uh, magnetic sensor. That lets you know if the door is open or closed. Uh, but even that, uh, four screws. Uh, pretty easy installation overall. Missing a couple of zip ties, but I had those kicking around anyway. Uh, highly recommended, love it. Uh, any of the Maras stuff uh, I've had in the house before has worked great for me. So highly recommend. Hope you guys enjoyed the uh, video and we'll see you again next time.